A bizarre, unknown creature sighting needs more attention because it's beyond creepy. Melly sees you is watching the sun come up over a riverbank in Ormond Beach, Florida. Her moment of tranquility is replaced with fear when this comes floating her way. I don't know what this is. That is a body or something. I don't know what that is. She follows it along the riverbank for as long as possible before the current grows strong and takes the odd object. Millie describes it as having scales more like a snake than a fish and also says she legitimately thought it was something from another planet when she first caught the creature on camera because of the huge size and weird shape. I don't know what that is. It looks like an alien. Look at that. Camera won't focus. Oh my. To her, this looks like the snout of a humanoid creature with rows of sharp teeth. I tried to find a picture of a similar fish in the area, but admittedly was unable to. And maybe it's just the reflection, but it looks like it could be much larger underwater. She says if this was a fish, then nobody has been able to show her a picture of what it is. Let's help her solve this mysterious unexplained video, because to be honest, I'm not sure what this mysterious figure is either. If none of us can figure out a better answer, then maybe we have to consider see that a strange creature is in fact lurking around this region of Florida. It's 10 at night when a sphere of light travels across the living room of a YouTuber named Play With Me. Moments later, this spectral figure emerges from the same area where the light last went off to. Its see-through body is especially visible against the dark hardwood floor. As it crosses the room and walks straight through the door without opening it, there's no doubt that this is the sphere of a person. But is this editing or a real ghost is the real question. A perfectly normal eyeball is about to almost pop, and you'll never guess how. Don't try this. Ronnie Tasleem pulls his lower lid as far down as it will go. His eye turns a nasty shade of red as he looks up and with three fingers slowly presses the lower section out of the socket. With his eyeball bulging halfway out, he rolls his upper lip back like a shirt sleeve to reveal the full eye and you'll never guess what happens from there. The entire eye is an angry red at this point, but instead of bursting and rolling down his cheek like I thought it would, the eye somehow turns normal looking again at 1 minute and 40 seconds. Ronnie is somehow able to alleviate the intense pressure, causing his eye to fill with red fluid and stuffs it back into its socket before any lasting damage is done. My question aside from how he is able to do this to begin with is how many more times does he have left before his poor eye gives out and gushes all over the camera? When you're driving home exhausted at the end of the long day, stay conscious and keep your eyes peeled. You might just see this. This supernatural clip was posted in April of 2020, claiming it's a real sighting on a haunted roadside. So let's take a look and see for ourselves. The clip shows someone driving down a dirt road in the near darkness. As they turn a corner, a dark figure barely visible can be seen crossing the path. On closer inspection, the figure looks long-limbed and big-eyed with a strangely shaped skull. It crosses slowly before sitting down at the side of the road. If human, what is this strange behavior? If not, any theories as to what this creature might be? Whether paranormal or some earthly figure, running into this near dusk might be enough to end your life. This clip is making waves in the Spanish YouTube community, and it's clear to see why. This associated image was posted in July of 2020 by YouTuber Curious Area, and at first, this footage seems like nothing more than your average nighttime drive. Spooky lights, empty streets, no one around. That is, until this creepy oblong figure emerges standing on the side of the road. As the car drives slowly past, the figure doesn't move from near the crosswalk. You can't make out its face or any details of its visage, but it does appear to be wearing a long robe. Would this get your heart pumping, or are your nerves made of steel? In this video published by Urban Exploration in August of 2016, you can see a man in a black hoodie standing very still outside some near steps. 
Looking down through the uploader's window, the creep appears frozen there. The video describes what happened. For the past four days, I have seen a man standing in front of my building, wearing a black hoodie looking through the windows of my apartment. This video is proof as my friends and family don't believe me. This was recorded on August 22, 2016 at around 3 a.m. After a minute or so of footage of this creep standing there, the YouTuber races out of the room down the stairs into the area to investigate. Only there's no one there when he arrives. The camera scans around but the stalker is not in sight. Was he lurking in some nearby bushes? We can only guess. Kiss that dude. <laughs> a single strange light in the sky has a YouTuber named Jesse Table Beast looking up with curiosity and horror. Yeah, it's definitely fine, whatever it is. He and his friend decide to drive towards the strange blinking light and investigate what it could be. The still image taken at 4 minutes and 58 seconds gives us a better look at it. A disc-like object floating in the air. There's an intense light coming from the bottom and also a small circular dome on top. They don't know what it is and neither does anyone else. A minute later, they are at the source of the light, which is much larger now but still just as unexplained. They think the light is coming from a nearby power plant, but it's too dark and rainy to tell, so they go home without knowing for certain. This light, well bizarre, might be from a busted power generator, but if that were the case then you'd think the light would be low to the ground and constant. The light is high in the air. Tell me what you think it is. According to YouTuber01 Supernatural Studio, a gambler lived in this place. He lost all the land in a bet and then chose to take his own life. Let's see if his presence remains. The ghost hunter quickly gets a reading. Inside his meter spikes. The spike occurs right next to a mirror. Could this be a portal into another world? As he continues to search, he hears a voice. Here it is again with the infrared on. He asks the spirit to touch a paranormal device. It seems to me that the spirit is here, but what the spirit's intentions are remains a mystery. There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9 p.m., the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f It doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. A creepy goat stands on two legs and stares ahead with beady black eyes. 
Reddit is trying to figure out if this is a statue or is this a live animal trained to be as scary as possible. Its eyes kind of look expressive here at 9 seconds and its ears somewhat move here, although that could just as easily be camera movement. This hunter captured the prey of his life while on an expedition. Published by Bigfoot's testimony in January of 2022, the mysterious encounter occurred in a wooded area in Ohio. The footage shows a strange, grassy-looking creature creeping between the trees on a snowy fall day. The man says the creature's hair is gray or black. Zooming in, the figure is barely discernible from its surroundings, like he's camouflaged. Most in the comments confirm that they've seen similar creatures in the forest. Tanner Urza writes, These beings are very spiritual and in tune with nature. Others note that at some points it looks like a barely visible, partially invisible shadow. Is this the Grassman of Ohio, or do we have another legendary creature on our hands? Either way, I think I'll be staying clear of that forest. A while back, I analyzed a viral video of an unknown creature caught on camera in China. People were saying it was a sickly bear, but villagers insisted it was a mythological spirit known as a water ghost. That one was in captivity, but since then another one's been found running loose in the wild, this time in Malaysia. The way it crawls is not like a bear, but maybe it is sick with mange like they say. Of particular interest is where the supposed bear chooses to go. Remember, villagers in China say this is a water ghost, and then it slips into the water. Don't get me wrong, I definitely think this is just a bear with mange trying to swim away from the camera, but I'm no expert and the villagers are the ones who live there and saw it with their own eyes. The point is no one knows for certain, so I'm not going to act like I do. What do you think this is? What are these strange so-called light balls that keep setting this Redditor's cameras off? Redditor Spambone is wondering if the Reddit community has any theories. Well, let's see what we can come up with as well. Let's take a look. This goes on for two minutes. Sometimes two light bulbs appear simultaneously. Some say it's obviously a bug. Others think it's a web of some kind. Still, others say it's a laser pointer or a reflection of some other light source. Practically, no one thinks this is an orb or paranormal in any way. And neither do I. I'm firmly in the spider or cobweb camp. What do you think it is? A man has been plagued by a demonic invasion that refuses to give him peace. On February 9th of 2017, he records not one, but two shadow figures ominously standing nearby. All you can do is hear his nasal breathing as he watches, stunned and trying not to scream, all while this heavy drape breathes in and out all by itself. Watch how it moves. That's not the wind. Besides, it was staying still for the past 4 minutes and 40 seconds prior, and you don't even want to see what's moving on his other window. I'll show you its true form in just a little bit, but for now let's focus on a couple different incidences first. On July 22nd of that same year, he is turning over a crystal again and again, possibly in hopes that some of its protective energy will rub off on him. Slowly but surely, this bright spot begins to manifest itself before his very eyes, starting at 1 minute and 33 seconds. Hope turns to horror as the omen spins around to reveal a grinning reptile-like face that he sure is the lord of the underworld himself, its stony face shrouded in half-darkness. This type into a separate incident 12 days earlier on July 10th. That's when he claims to have recorded what he calls a ghoul lurking in the bush outside of his window. 
When you pause at three seconds, it does look like the top half of a skeletal face that soon disappears into the bushes, black eyes and all. That definitely wasn't a normal animal, so what was it? It looks remarkably similar to the face seen in the crystal nearly two weeks later. Sometimes it would show up in the most unlikely of places, like the folds of a piece of fabric as shown here on February 15th, 2017. Do you see the creepy goblin face with a long nose, big ears and open mouth? I can even see an eye. And that's the more friendly of the two faces. This second one looks like two worried eyes and a mouth locked in a permanent scream. There's not as much detail and some of the features are disproportionate and misshapen, but it's still there nonetheless. So now that you've seen the demon's face a few times, I suppose you are ready to see the rest of it and the rest of the original video. This is what he saw crawling into his home that fateful early February day. This upside down creature is in fact one of the many beings who he claims to see on the regular. It's hard to make out exactly what this is, but it's harder still to disprove it and it gives me a bad feeling all around. I tend to believe this video, and all of these sightings for that matter. He claims the quality of the video has somehow sharply deteriorated over time since uploading, and that the being at one point looked more detailed and even had horns. I don't see how this is possible for a digital copy to become less clear, but the colors do look muted here and apparently were brighter. So I want to know if you think that this man is legitimately seeing demons around his house, or if this is all happening in his mind. As much as I want to believe this is a delusion like some people think it is, I don't necessarily agree. The problem is I do see a lot of what he claims on video, so there's a good chance it could be true. This laboratory is said to be frequented by a spirit who is always near. Here you can see a door pull open by itself with no one standing on the other side. Just in case you were thinking someone could have opened it off camera, here is the same event from another angle, this time taken from the other side. No one is nearby, otherwise they would have cast a shadow on the wall or else be visible in the reflection of the clean lab floor. Unless this door is controlled by a button we can't see, then there should be no way for it to open by itself. So what do you think? Is this real or just a staged video cooked up by a bored scientist at work? A YouTuber named Adrian Bustamante documents yet another night of paranormal activity in his apartment to prove once and for all it's haunted. There are a few different paranormal videos on his channel, but March 9th of 2017 is when the best paranormal evidence yet is caught on camera. He doesn't have ghost hunting equipment, but he is still able to pin down the supernatural activity to one corner of the room. It isn't long before he gets all of the paranormal proof he needs. It looks like the object's moving by itself, but at 1 minute and 45 seconds, I'm almost positive there's a string tied around the bottom of the glass vase. My overall analysis is that Adrian's probably moving the object himself, but your opinion can help me decide if this paranormal evidence is fake or real. An infrared camera was directed toward a stairway in a haunted home. This is what it captured, published by Electrica Man in October of 2006. The cameraman casts the shot toward the top of the stairs, appealing to the ghost to talk to them. While the spirit doesn't make a peep, you can see a child-sized apparition move out of view at the top of the stairs. Okay, everybody. Hold still for a second. You have to look closely as the semi-transparent figure vanishes quietly from the landing into the adjacent hallway. Is this ghost camera shy? Chris Halton of Haunted Earth TV shares in the comments, As an investigator, I have noticed a connection between IR light and spirits. They do react against the infrared light. He adds that this footage is the most compelling he's seen. What do you think? It seems to me that some very mysterious stuff is going on in this home. After a day of poking around an abandoned asylum turns up nothing of interest, a YouTuber named Abandoned Explorer and his friends are leaving when an SUV comes close to running them over. Out steps an aggressive older man. 
who first admits to putting them in danger and then kicks over their camera. Alright, the police should come in. So you start running me down. I did run you down. I'm trying to put that out. I'll put it up first. Here it looks like he is getting back into his car to drive away, but look closely and you'll see he is actually rummaging around the back seat for something. He's got a gun! Yes, he's got a gun. Yeah. Yeah. That's when the group realize what it is he's reaching for. It's hard to say how much trouble they were truly in based on the way he used his car against them. I also have little doubt that this man would have also used a piece if they had stayed instead of run. A YouTuber named Spectral Wolfpack Paranormal is checking out an abandoned house in Tennessee that's covered in occult graffiti. It's an unsettling sight for sure, but there's an audio portion of this video that has people talking. No less than five people thought they heard something during this part. Let me know if you hear it. The entrance to hell. As soon as he says that this is the entrance to the underworld, some people claim they hear a voice that says stay. I think it sounds like leaves rustling under his shoe as he takes a step back, but let me know if you heard the noise and what you think it was. The entrance to hell. The entrance to hell. 9 out of 10 people do not immediately notice what's wrong with this handshake, so allow me to show you where to look. Trust me, you'll be sorry that I did. Give me your hand. This is someone's right hand and yet they're on the left side. Also look at their fingernails, they're facing the wrong way. How can this be? The answer isn't pretty. The condition is called hypermobility. Though the phrase double jointed is commonly used, it's mostly genetic, meaning you are either born with this unusually large range of movement or not. Only 20% of people have it, though typically not to this degree, and there's no way for the rest of us to gain this talent, if you want to call it that, so don't even try to practice. Like most people, watching this video makes me feel like my fingers are going to fall off. Tell me if you would be able to shake the hand of someone with hypermobility while they were doing this. I mean, it's creepy, but also kind of cool. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.